All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, we just got through some of the portal stuff here uh, with the nether star and stuff. Looks like we're doing some um, little bit of, of more nether stuff over here. We got some like nether brick and stuff. So it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it. Uh, looks like we got a blaze there. I don't think he'll shoot me, but a little bit scary. Soul Sand Valley biome. We got some uh, some skeletons. Now the skeletons actually spawn in the uh, in the Nether now. Uh, they didn't before. Got a a cake enderman over there. That's kind of cool. Got the Soul Soul Fire or whatever. Got some magma cubes. Basalt Delta's biomes. Kind of like a quick view of all the biomes and stuff. We got some gas flying overhead as well. And then we got this buddy as well. Looking pretty snazzy. Places are pretty cool looking at least. Um, but yeah, we got the gas, of course. They're just kind of chilling. Uh, baby gas, I guess. <laughs> and then the super baby gas. <laughs> the, the big baby gas. Let's see what is this exactly. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, warped forest biome. That's where the endermen are, it looks like. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is where you get the um, the warped fungus, which is actually super useful. It's, it's what you use for, like, striders and stuff. Um, so that's, that stuff's really cool. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't even notice that. A little wither stuff there. Wither skeleton type of thing. Some guys fighting over there. Oh, hello. Got a blaze there. Nice. Mystic crimson forest biome. Looks pretty nice as well. Um, I'm still shaking. I'm not sure why, like, everything's shaking. <laughs> I think it like glitched out when I was in one of the other um, little worlds, probably from the the warden actually. Now that I think about it, but uh, it's fine. It'll be okay. Got some netherite stuff he's sitting on. Got some the wither skeleton skulls and like bones. Got some some little stuff here. Got these guys. They're kind of fighting. <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, looks like we got a, a game here. Oh, hello. You look very interesting, buddy. Uh, Strider Stroller. Alex got 375, Steve got 230. What does it say? Strider Stroller. Ride a Strider through the nether's dangerous biomes, avoiding flowing lava and mobs. Collect gold nuggets along the way to score points and reach the nether fortress. Alright, let's do it. Oh, it's a side scroller. Okay. Uh, how do I get on him? Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, you can walk on lava, of course, with these guys. Jump higher by leaping off your strider mid-air, or dismount and bounce on your strider's head. Yeah, oh. interesting. Okay, so we're gonna use multiple striders here. It looks like. Okay. What is this again? It's a crossbow. Oh shoot! I'm stupid. Why did I do that? Oh, interesting. That's where my other strider was. Okay. Whoops. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Very interesting there. All right. Um. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Why did I do that? Wait. Do I lose all my nuggets if I do that? That's crazy, bro. Hello. Oh, we can probably use this stuff, right? Okay. I forgot about that. Um. Is there a way to get up from here? No, it doesn't look like it. We have to go up this way. Climb the vines here. Oops. Okay, here we go. Bye. Nice. Alright, we got that guy. That's good. Let's try not to die if we can avoid it. Forgot about these little things. <laughs> the vines and such. Oops. There we go, Crimson Forest biome. Look at those big chains. Looking pretty snazzy. I saw you. There you are. Uh, some gold over there. Let's head on this strider and go across the lava and get this gold. Very nice. Alright, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Uh, what do we got over here? Oh, what's this? Quick charge collected. Ooh, okay. Charge one. Interesting, okay. Oh shoot, I messed that up. Oh, that could be bad. No, we're fine, we're fine, okay. 
that was almost that almost could have been really bad if I had accidentally messed up my strategy there and not been able to get back onto him. The basalt deltas biome. Oh, that was close. Was not watching the lava very closely there. All right, nice. Let's jump, jump, jump. Jump again. Go quick. All right, doing okay here. Let's get some more of these little gold nuggets. Please, how do we get up there? Oh, probably like this, right? Yep, yeah, okay. Nice. Piercing collected, okay. That's kind of interesting. Uh, let's get back on our straighter again. So we're probably going to be fighting a bunch of enemies here, <laughs> then, like, I'm assuming, because we're getting some pretty decent enchantments. Alright, nice, nice. Alright, let's try not to fall down, although maybe there's something secret down there, I don't know. Is it worth it? Oh no! Okay, no, it was not worth it, but, um... Okay, that's a bit scary, actually, not gonna lie. <gasps> Wait, no, no, no! Don't do it again! We keep losing stuff. Wait, where's our strider? Can we get our strider back, please? Please? Oh, wait, who is that? Oh, no. Okay, this could be bad. Because I don't jump very high. Oh, my gosh. Okay, whew. That is rough. I should not have done that at all. Ouch. He hurt me a little bit. There we go, here's a strider. Okay, good. Whew. Oh man. Yeah, it's way better than we have the, when we have the striders, that's for sure. Uh, we could get a jump up there. But we do, we're gonna lose our strider, aren't we? If we do that, I don't know. Um yeah, I think he's over there. That was probably not worth it, to be honest. Okay, here's another one. At least that's good. That's good. Uh, let's try to make the jump. Oh, no, 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 no! No! Dang it. You know, I'm just gonna go down here. I don't, I don't care about that. That's not worth it. It's longer than I thought it'd be, though. That's for sure. I like it though. It's good. A little bit side scrolling action for Minecraft? Heck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Uh, Soul Sand Valley Biome. Alright, we'll be fine if we jump off of him here because we can get back onto him really quickly and really easily. It's worth it. Nice. What's this? Soul speed collection. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I would like to get these actually. There we go. Sucks. Oh, okay, good. We have another one. Oh, I was like, man, if we have to do with this without a strider, that is going to be really bad. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. All right, we've got our strider back. We're good. Nether fortress. That's interesting. I feel like I should be able to get back up there. Oh, they just disappeared. What the heck? That's very interesting, okay. Uh, anyways, let's continue on. There's probably a way to wrap around here, but I don't really know, to be honest. Ouch. Hmm, I don't know how to get up there, actually. There's probably a way, to be honest, but I'm not even gonna worry about it right now. Is this the end? Nice, it really is. 
Uh, Strider collected. There we go. Got that guy. Some lava down there. Try not to fall. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Very cool, actually. Very cool. Display an area. All right. Let's head back to the portal over here and head to the other side. Let's see what we've got over there. Oh, hello. Aha, there's the another star. I was wondering where that was going to be, actually. It's like I hadn't found it yet. Alright, cool. Let's head back over here. That was the wither side, I believe. Uh, let's check out the Ender Dragon side now. Cool. A little bit less cool portal, but definitely thematic for sure. I like the stuff around the edge, at least. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> they're trying to steal the egg. Buddies, they're up there. Alright, uh, anyways, let's see. Let's check out the second level as well, but first... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't reach. Alright, anyways. Uh, Dragon Herd. It has a purely cosmetic item... Or head, sorry. Uh, as a purely cosmetic item, scaling the tallest tower in the end city and then boarding the end ship is a demanding challenge. However, soaring through the sky with your newly equipped... Uh, newly acquired Elytra, whilst also boasting the head of the Ender Dragon, is a reward great enough to justify the travel. Res don't compare the dragon head, pull the leopard to see it roar in action. Don't worry, it won't bite, I hope. Yeah, it's pretty cool, it just kind of like does that. Also, as you're wearing it on your head, you can kind of move with it, and, uh, or like as you move, you will, um, like the, the head will do the same animation kind of. Alright, here we go with the wings, the Elytra. The Elytra has players. Searching far and wide through the ominous end dimension, hunting for the solitary silhouette of an end city. In hopes of finding this sought after treasure, each end city bridge has a 12.5% uh, chance of spawning a ship, and uh, which is the key to finding the Elytra. Each end city bridge, okay. When you strap on those wings, you're uh, not just conquering the skies, you're rewriting the rules of gravity. Here's to flying high and landing softly. Yeah, they're pretty sick. Uh, let's go upstairs real quick and see what's up there. Alright, we've got some shulker boxes. Or shulkers, I guess. Um, some Endermen. We've got some more uh, stuff you can take pictures with. Pretty cool. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright. Got the guy still trying to, to get it as well. We've got uh, Steve with it. Oh, what's this? Dragon Breath. Only the bravest adventurers dare to seek out this item. Oh yeah, with an empty glass bottle in hand and some precise timing, you can capture this ethereal essence during the Ender Dragon's Breath at Cloud attack. This valuable ingredient is essential for brewing lingering potions, leaving a lasting mist of effects and crafting tipped arrows for adding that extra punch. Okay, I actually haven't really used this um, ever before, but I know it is a thing, so that's pretty cool. Get the Ender Dragon there, let's head back down. Pretty cool stuff up there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? What else do we have? There's some more stuff back here. Uh, ooh, there's an Ender Dragon flying around. Oh, it's like the End Dimension. That's cool. Wow. Elytra Ring Rush. Ooh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> I just got this people flying around. That's cool. <laughs> wow, it looks pretty awesome, actually, in this. All right, uh, what does this say? End Crystal. The Obsidian Pillars are a telltale sign of the dragon, Ender Dragon's iconic battlegrounds. The End Crystal will heal the Ender Dragon when it is within its proximity. This fragile structure will combust on impact, so beware when you're standing high up on the Obsidian Pillars. It's a long way down. Yeah, boy. Yeah, it looks pretty nice in this, actually, though. It's got, like, the Minecraft, like, letters and stuff, or whatever. Uh, I guess we should go ahead and do the game. Actually, no, let's do let's do the check out the stuff real quick first. End gateway, a portal to the furthest reaches of the end dimension. It's your ticket to exploring the outer islands where end cities float in the void. And shulkers guard hidden treasures. Just toss an ender pearl through, and remember to aim carefully. You wouldn't want to miss and end up taking an unintended dive into the void. It's the ultimate leap of faith with riches and dangers alike on the other side. Yep. Pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We've got a sticker, shulker. Nice. Uh, I've got the some of the in city stuff, all the different colors of shulker blocks boxes you can get or create as ghosts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can craft or like dye them, I believe. But yeah, it looks like Alex got 153. 
Okay, uh -huh. let's try it. Grab your elytra, green rush, sorry. Gla grab your elytra and soar through the end dimension. Complete three laps to see the fast set the fastest time. He's got a sulker, a shulker hat, sorry. That's kind of funny. Okay, <clears throat> let's do it, come on. Fly through the rings and complete three laps of the course. Use the firework rocket to go faster. Go. That's number one. Oh, that was close. Almost didn't make that one, to be honest. All right. Uh, let's do this. Oh no, I didn't miss that one. I, I mean, I did miss that one. I missed both of those. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, let's try it again. Alright, looks like it's a bit of a cooldown on the firework rocket, basically. So, there's that. Oh shoot, I missed that one. Hello, Ender Dragon. How you doing, buddy? Barely made that one. Oh, I missed that one. Holy cow. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! No! Uh. Alright, well, that was a big failure. That was pretty cool, though. I like it. Give me some practice. I really haven't flown with the electras a whole lot. Uh, but yeah, I definitely need to get better at it, that's for sure. Wow, I really missed that one. There we go, we finally got that one at least. <laughs> Holy cow. I was kind of bad at that, but hey yo. Got the Elytra sticker at least, that's good. We beat Steve at least. Uh, only six seconds off of Alex and with how bad I messed up. Alright, not too bad. That's pretty fun. Look at these guys. <laughs> Alright, that I believe that's for the end of the the end of the end. <laughs> the end of this uh, little area of the end dimension, I guess, right? Wait, what is there anything over here? No, just just nothing this pretty much. Alright, cool. Uh, let's head back out the exit, and I'll probably head into the next uh, the next area for like a couple minutes, and probably wrap up the video there. Let's see. Um, what is the next one? I think this is the last one, actually. Yeah, the last one we got to do, and then we can kind of try to look for the the last stickers. Alpha. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be probably my favorite, I think. But we'll see. I love the alpha stuff, or at least like beta, beta stuff. Basically. Oh my gosh, it looks like the old stuff. Yes. Okay, let's look. Terrain showcase. The Minecraft that first saw the light of day may look drastically different from the Minecraft we know today. Know today. However, the bright neon colored palette and iconic flat clouds will forever remind us of where it all began. Yeah, dude. They were so cool. I miss the OG stuff. I love it. The old rose and the, the dandelion. Man, it looks so good. What does this do? Vanilla blocks loaded. Okay, yeah, this is the new version, I guess, right? The regular version. And this is the old version. I much prefer the alpha blocks, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, let's check out some of this stuff, and then we'll head upstairs real quick. Some of the old uh, ores and blocks. Early classic. These are the blocks present in the early classic version of Minecraft, which took place between May 16 to May 28 in 2009. Early classic. Okay, that's not very long, actually. Just a couple weeks. All right, uh, let's see what else. All right, yeah, let's check out the upstairs real quick. Oh, no, let's do this first. Uh, Pre-Classic, starting exactly 15 years ago in May 2009, Pre-Classic Minecraft began its first development phase. This version predates Minecraft Classic. Um, in this very initial stage of c development, the game was originally called Cave Game. Yep. It was later renamed to Minecraft Order of the Stone, before finally adopting the name that would come cement its 15-year legacy, um, Minecraft. Order of the Stone, I never knew that part actually. But yeah, Notch back in the day, what a legend. 
the old cobblestone texture and everything too. All right, let's check up upstairs real quick. It's got the old Minecraft music playing right now too. I love it. Uh, survival test. These are the blocks added in the survival test version of Minecraft, which took place between September 1 and October 24 of 2009. All right, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Those are all great. Uh, what else we got here? Multiplayer test. These are the blocks added in the multiplayer test version of Minecraft, which took place between May 31 and July 11 of 2009. Multiplayer, yeah. The old gold blocks uh, texture. <laughs> Yep. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, awesome. We got the 15 year celebrations. The alpha. Alpha when you can take pictures in. Ah, I'm a creeper. <laughs> That's so cool. Yes. Alright. Um, all the different colors of wool and stuff, right? Uh, bring on the wool. The wool block was first added in the multiplayer test version of Minecraft. During its introduction to the game on May 31st, 2009, it was originally known as cloth. Uh, 15 years later, the array of colors has received new additions, and some colors on top of the, on the top row have been reti retired for a more refined palette. Array of colors have received new additions, and some colors on the top row have been retired. More refined palette. Oh, interesting. So what is retired? Oh, some of the ones on the top. Interesting. So it looks like, yeah, they removed two from the old version and they added two new ones or something? Or like they changed them around a little bit, maybe. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah. Interesting for sure. So wool has changed a little bit, I guess. All right, well, that's cool. Uh, let's head back downstairs again. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, thank you guys for watching this part. We're going to continue in the alpha part uh, in the next part. And I think we'll actually finish up the whole map in the next part as well. Um, because we're going to find the final stickers as well. Um, but yeah, let's, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that in the next part. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. It's the old lava and old mine, uh, water textures there as well. Oh yeah. Um, they were pretty solid too. They weren't really very moving, I don't think. If I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's do it and save that for the next part. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it once again, and I'll catch you later. Peace.